man it's your boy real to real man back in here with another video hey man say man hey man it's your boy man y'all already know man hey but as you guys see man by the thumbnail you see what we're gonna be discussing today the topic of the day y'all already know what time it is man when they come to that mopar no car anyway but yeah man y'all already know man they just had the little release footage and the release little clips of you know the dodge challenger and the dodge charger 2019 so i didn't think that they was going to change it up because this is just a legendary body style for both vehicles you know both vehicles are probably at the top of their peak in the top of the class you know of vehicles you know and so i don't think they was gonna just change everything up and just do a whole lot to it because as you guys see even when they went from my body style like the 2000 what is started eight to uh 2013 i think 2013 i think and in my body style they um they didn't change too much on it and so they just changed like the front cap and things like that you know put the little hole or whatever up in the dodge challenger up in the front light or whatever and so and the thing is i can convert my challenger over to the new front if i want to and put the little hole in it put the co and say whatever but you know it's really it's really no point you know i i can do the front cap but it's it's no point to get cold air intakes and things like that because it don't really increase nothing you know so it's all really a waste of money my breather and stuff do fine as you guys know already so i just keep the factory i don't i don't need to invest 400 dollars again on cold air intakes and stuff no anymore four five hundred dollars you know so it's, it's all for looks and show but back to the topic i knew that they wasn't gonna just really change too much up but just because of the simple fact they didn't change it you know from my body style to that body style only thing they changed was the front cap the front lights you know how it had a little circle light or whatever and the back lights so that's that's pretty much all they did body style still kind of and to, to me my body style look kind of wider than the 2013s and up i don't know why you know my body style looks kind of wider so and and it's kind of crazy because you can park my car beside another one and you look from the back and it look like mine is wider for some reason but yeah i think they just shortened it down a little bit made it a little bit more aerodynamic and stuff like that but you know I, I i figured that the new ones from you know 14 and up i knew that they probably wasn't gonna change the 19 you know that much more than those because the cars are selling like crazy you know the charges are selling like crazy the challengers are selling like crazy even v6s everybody can't afford v8s everybody have to start where they can don't ever try to live above your means start where you can and then work your way up you know it's it's all you still mopa no car at the end of the day you still you still in there you still got the same version you just don't have the the, the motor and that's all just like i got the rt i don't have the srt but guess what i got what was in between my needs and my means of living so i got what i can but the thing is you know like it, it, it's kind of crazy that i mean now what i paid for this rt is what the new srt8s are like a 14 15 you know what i'm saying so you know just stay within your means and stuff like that but yeah man back to the subject i know we keep getting off subject it's okay you guys man that's how real to real roll man you know i i i I like to talk about cars. I like to talk about this type of stuff, especially challenges and Chargers. But I just wanted to see what you guys felt about the Challenger with the with the two air scoops. Uh, and that's what I think. I don't think it was a, a lot done to the Hellcat. You know, I don't. I don't. I don't think it was just. I don't think it's just gonna be so much done to where they they lose the value 
and lose the people eye of the Hellcat. That's probably why they just only changed the hood of it. And you know, me personally, I actually like the old hood scoops better than the new ones. So preference wise, I would get a 2019, but me just liking some, I like the 2018 better, you know? And that's just me. You guys let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. But as far as the charger, I think I probably like the charger, um, the 2019 better. Um, you know, it, it kind of sets those off a little bit more. And then I like the way they put the little hole for the cold air intake and stuff like that going under a ton of you guys. Yeah, you heard, yeah, yeah, just a little bit, just a little something, something, I ain't do too much. But yeah, I figured, you know, I like the 2019 better than I like the other ones because, I mean, the 18s, they look um, decent and stuff like that. They look ferocious, they look mean, they look monstrous, you know. But I think kind of with the, with the smooth toning of the front, you know, and you guys can see right there, the smooth uh, front, the way that it is looking now, it's look, it looks smooth but aggressive at the same time. And plus with the little hole in the front, it looks like it's about to get down to business, you know? But yeah, I just, I, I wish they would release more videos, you know? Everybody is going off the same thing, the same exact thing. Just go ahead and link the whole thing. Well, we did see it. You know, we did um, uh, see the the kind of like the whole car or whatever, you know, on the video. And I mean, I just I just think both cars are just two magnificent cars, and I don't think that they can just ever compete in these body styles. I don't think they should ever switch them. I think the market is so good for them, and I think that everybody's. It, it, everybody came to Challenger and Charger because of the look of of them, you know, when they first came out. And then I don't think that they should mess with it just too much, you know. I think that they should stick around, you know, let things get better and better, you know, with technology-wise. And I don't think that they should just keep... See, most people just want status, you know. They want to just... Oh, I got the latest one. I have the newest one and stuff like that. Me, I don't care about that type stuff. Because it's, it's still the same car, you know? And most people just want to be like, Oh, well, I got the 2019. You got the 2018. You got the 2017. I'm not really into the years, man. Because guess what? It's still going to go the same. If they increase the horsepower, then they increase the horsepower. But at the same time, any little minor thing to any other vehicle that you buy that's under that year will get the same amount of horsepower and stuff like that. So I don't think it's no big deal or what there, you know, other people try to say when it comes to things like that. It's, it, it's no big deal, man. Don't ever listen to people. Do what you feel is right. Do what you can afford. And man, let it go. Let it, let it be, man. You still winning at the end of the day. Because, hey, I'm still winning. Hey, live within your means. You're going to always win that way. Them people that just try to go by status and stuff like that, them the people that lose all the time. Just because they go by that, oh, I want the, the latest year and things like that. No, I ain't got to have all that. You ain't got to have all that. Man, just do what you can do for yourself, your family, to have fun, get out here and just, you know, live life, you know, the best way possible. And, you know, I think all in, you know, that they came out with a, a, a something great. And I think they should keep it that way. And I don't think they should mess with it, you know, too much. And, you know, lose, lose, people lose interest of the car and the car itself. And just keep the, the flow of people towards their brand and their motors because they got top of the line motors. Everybody know that. There's nothing out there that can compete with the Dodge brand, period. And that's just me just being basic, um, unbiased, nothing like that. Like everybody know I love Camaros. 
I always say more part no car just messing with people. I ain't, you know, it's just a little light trolling. I ain't, you know, it's it's nothing big or nothing like that. I just like messing with people, you know. But I always feel like, you know, I always felt like, you know, Camaros was my favorite cars until Challengers came out. Until the Challengers and stuff came out, Camaros was my favorite car. And I feel like nothing is messing with the Dodge brand. It's nothing, period, is not even close to messing with the Dodge brand and messing with those motors these guys keep bringing out and putting out. And man, though, and that new 426, man, you guys, man, <laughs> legendary. Legendary, you know, so. Hey, I was just bringing you guys this video. No, it wasn't gonna be no real long video. I was just uh, discussing this with you guys. The, the way I felt about, you know, the new body styles of the Challenger and the Charger. And man, hey, you heard it from real to real first, man. Uh, what I think, you know, sum everything up. I think both cars, the Challenger and the Charger are two magnificent cars. And I, I, I love the way they did the new design. And they didn't mess with the brand of the car. The Chargers has made a tremendous change because I like the new Chargers better than the old ones. Like, that's the only thing I can say. But as far as Challengers, I would get any one. Any year, doesn't matter. Doesn't make any difference. You can change out the front cap if you have one my year. The, the, the 2008 through the um, 2012, 13, whatever this body style um, goes to. You can change out the front cap, change out the lights, change out the light on the trunk, and you have a new one. It ain't gonna be that year, as people always say, just go buy the other one. No, man, live within your needs, your means, do what you wanna do, and don't listen to everybody else, man. Do your thing. But yeah, man, it's your boy, Real to Real. Hey, man, say, man, hey, man, it's your boy, man, Real to Real, man. You have hit that like button, that subscribe button, that share button, go ahead, bust it down. And man, leave comments in the comment section what you think about both of these vehicles. Peace. She popped the sand, the bitch is sleeping. My cool too fast, police can see me. If they catch me, they gon' try to seize me. Yeah, machine ran.